This video was created by Vinylic Puma of Vinylic Puma Gaming. Warning, vulgarity awaits. What's going on guys? This is Vinyl like Puma and today I want to talk about my favorite glitches in Borderlands 2 and Borderlands the pre-sequel. And I'll be covering glitches that still work in 2015 for single player only. That means no multiplayer slash co-op slash revive for emulate glitch to work bullshit required. So what am I waiting for? Number five. Salvador the Gunzerker from Borderlands 2. So this choice, without a doubt, will get the most downvotes. In fact, some of you are probably going to be upset that I tell you that Salvador, which may be your favorite character, is a walking glitch. Now, let me explain though. Whenever Salvador dual wields weapons, he has the ability to combine certain weapons' passive effects. For example, when you dual wield the Grog Nozzle with any other weapon, if you shoot that other weapon, it's going to heal you. If you equip the Lady Fist, with another weapon, the other weapon will receive increased critical hit damage as a result. You can also combine the Pimpernel with Torg rocket launchers to massively increase the damage of the Pimpernel. You can also combine the Pimpernel with a Grog Nozzle to make the Pimpernel always slag. The funny thing though is that popular weapon combos like the Grog Nozzle plus Interfacer or Unkempt Herald and then Lady Fist plus Interfacer are based off of this same exploit. Now, whether you think this is a glitch or not, I guess I'll leave that up to you to decide. Uh, in the meantime, let's just go on to Nisha's Gunzerker glitch. Number four, Nisha's Gunzerker glitch 2.0 from Borderlands, the pre-sequel. So this glitch allows you to dual wield two different weapons as Nisha in the pre-sequel. Now, it is a little bit limited as you have to have a pistol type weapon in the offhand and only works on PC. Uh, plus, if you melee while dual wielding or you switch weapons while dual wielding, the effect is lost. Uh, now, to perform this glitch, you need the one for each of your skill, which allows you to hold two pistols in both hands. Then, you enter Fight for Your Life, equip the pistol you want, hit the drop key on your keyboard, die and respawn, and then switch to another weapon that you have equipped, and suddenly, voila, you can now dual wield a pistol and another weapon. Now, while it's not as good as gun zerking as Sal from Borderlands 2, it's still quite fun to play with. In fact, I like to use like a Jacob's Pistol and the Viber Pulse to get healing and then massive damage. Plus I have Tombstone going and it's just ridiculous. Number three, the Flacker plus Ahab glitch for Borderlands 2 and Borderlands the pre-sequel. So this glitch actually works for both games. All you need is the legendary Flacker shotgun and a Torg rocket launcher. Simply fire the Flacker and then quickly switch to the Torg rocket launcher for a massive damage increase. Now, it should be mentioned that this is very similar, if not identical, to Salvador's dual wielding passive weapon effect exploit extravaganza, except this version will work for every character from both games, not just Salvador from Borderlands 2. Uh, it's quite useful up against EOS and Eclipse in Borderlands the pre-sequel, and it's pretty useful in Borderlands 2 up against, like, Saturn. And in some cases, Son of Cromorax and even Terramorphous. Now, go flack the world. Number 2. The Borderlands 2 Weapon Merge Glitch. So this one is a real pain in the ass to do, and I think you can only do this on PC. Uh, if it is possible on console, uh, let me know in the comments section of this video, and I will add an annotation later letting people know. Anyway, this glitch is performed by equipping the weapon with the effect you want. Then, swap it, and during the swapping animation, open up your inventory and move the weapon you're swapping to into the equip slot of the weapon with the effect that you want. If you do it correctly, you should notice either increased damage, uh, healing effects, and uh, whatever uh, the weapon effect was that you wanted to add to the weapon you wanted to use. Um, I like to do this with the Lady Fist or the Fibber to get a massive critical hit damage boost. And as you can see here, it's quite nice. Number one, the Morningstar glitch aka Evil Smasher 2.0 for Borderlands 2. Now, personally, I prefer this glitch to the weapon merging glitch because in my opinion, I think it is way, 
way easier to do. Now, while it might not be quite as powerful, I think this one, again, is just easier to do. Simply equip the Morning Star, empty the magazine, just shoot it like crazy, and then during the reload animation, swap guns back and forth until you get the voice clips uh, from the crazy lady sniper rifle uh, to stack, and then eventually let it reload completely, then switch to the gun that you want to use. And essentially, for those of you that are really familiar with the evil smasher glitch uh, from early on in Borderlands 2's lifespan, it's very much like that. Uh, now, basically the massive damage comes from uh, when you crit enemies. So if you can't score critical hits, uh, this actually may be a little bit harder to do than the Evil Smasher glitch. Uh, but really, honestly, it's pretty badass, and I think you should be able to do it. Anyway, guys, that's going to pretty much wrap up this video. If you did like this video, please be sure to leave a like and let me know. What is your favorite glitch from either Borderlands 2 or Borderlands the pre-sequel? Again, as always, take care and I'll see y'all next time.